Hi guys, in this session, I'm going to explain how to use user defined object as a key in hash map. Let us go ahead and start. I'm going to explain this concept using an example. So I already created a small sample project of the core Java. So right click on the source, new class, class name I am providing as hash map user object key demo. In package name, I am giving as com dot siva java techie dot hash map. I would like to have a main method in this class, so check on the checkbox and click on finish. Now, what I am going to do is I am going to create a new class that is employee. Okay, so click on finish. Now in this employee class, I am going to define few properties int emp id private string emp name. And then I am going to create a constructor, right click source and we can create a constructor using the employee id and employee name and also i am going to generate setter getter methods select all click ok and i want to print the i want to override two string representation so generate two string for the employee ID and employee name. So my class is ready. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to create a objects for this employee class and then we will we will try to see what happens if we are using the employee object as a key in hash map. As we know that hash map is going to maintain key value pair relationship and hash map allows only one null value as a key and you can provide as many as um, uh, nulls for the values but it only allow or accept only one null value as a key and also it does not maintain the insertion order and also it does not allow the duplicates what it means is once you provide the same another element with the same key then it is going to override the previous value okay let us see first how it is going to behave in the case of user defined objects now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create few employee objects you know employee and i'll say 101 is a key and here shiva and like this i'm going to create few more objects okay. employee two employee three now I, let us for for a second consider that i am going to provide all the uh, employee one employee two employee three values with the same value 101 shiva and uh, similarly 101 shiva 101 shiva now let us consider we are going to add the, uh, add these elements to the hash map now i am going to define a hash map hash map and i am providing uh, employee as a object for the key employee comma employee emp hash map equal to new hash map okay. let me uh, import the hash map from the java dot etl okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add i'm to add hash map dot Put, I'm going to provide emp1 and also I'm giving as a 
emp1 as a value or let us consider for a second i can pass here um, user1 let me change this representation to the string for a second Okay, similarly, I am going to add remaining objects also to the hash map. EMP2 and then EMP3. So, user2 and user3. Now, let us iterate this hash map. So in order to iterate for map dot entry enter here employee and uh, values string entry colon emp Hash map dot entry set and let us iterate system dot out dot println entry dot get key entry dot get value now let us go ahead and run this program java application if you see here even though from our um, perspective the emp1 and emp2 emp3 will have the same key and value but when you add this um, objects to the hash map it didn't treat these are like a um, it didn't uh, treat these are the same elements but instead of that it it creates a it added a new object to the hash map this is because whatever the elements you are going to add to the um, add to the hash map it first looks for the equality that is nothing but the equality for the addresses or the references as we are creating these objects using the new uh, keyboard so emp1 emp2 and emp3 will have the different addresses that is the reason that is the reason it unable to identify that these are the e these three objects are equal that is the reason you see that there is a duplicate uh, there is there is a different um, set of entries it added in the hash map so in order to overcome this problem so basically whenever you are providing any user any user defined object as a key in the hash map you need to make sure that you need to override two methods that is one is equals method another one is the hash code method in such a that what are what is the precaution you need to take care when you are implementing is as long as two objects are equal as per the equals method then those two objects must return same hash code so in eclipse we have a uh, um, easy way to implement these two methods because eclipse already provided an option to overwrite the hash code and equals method so right click source generate hash code and equals method now it will ask you on what basis you want the equality for example if you want to if two objects are equal based on the employee id then you need to consider those two are equal then you need to select employee id or employee name for a second i am going to select using the employee id and we now what happens is eclipse will provide an implementation for the hash code and equals method now if you see the equals as it is an integer so this is the implementation we need to provide or whenever you are o, whenever you are providing any user defined object as a key for a hash map then you need to make sure that first you need to override the equals method 
and then you need to override the hash code if we don't if you don't override the hash code then it is a different issue it will arise when you are getting that means whenever you are placing an object in the hash map or the, while retrieving a uh, retrieving an object from the hash map hence make sure that equals method whenever you override the equals method you must override the hash code in such a way that as per the equals method two objects are equal then it must return the same hash code for those two objects now as i override equals and hash code methods now let us go ahead and see the behavior okay now as as i explained hash map is always override the if if there is in the same value you are going to add to the uh, same key if you are you adding to the hash map again then it is going to override the previous value hence as we are adding the employee three object as at the last hence you are it is going to retrieve me the this value okay similarly you can see that employee hash map dot get this is also whenever you are passing in key as a user different object based on the first it will look for the uh, hash code based on that it is identify the what which bucket the value is uh, placed and then if two or more buckets will have the same hash code then using the equals method it will identify the correct bucket and get the value out of it now for example if i go ahead and say that employee 3 then just let me print this value system dot out dot print ln and if i print this value also you can see the same value that means now you will see the user 3 okay so user 3 it has written and finally it identifies that these three objects are same so it has overhead hence whenever any user defined object you are adding uh, to the hash map then you need to make sure that you need to override the equals and hash code method and one more problem we can see here i'll explain uh, that concept for example if you want to provide in any um, any user different object as a strong key in hash map one more uh, point we need to consider for example after i adding an element uh, after i adding an employee object to the hash map now i'm going to change the state of an employee object for example employee 3 i am adding after that what i am going to do is instead of 101 i am going to provide key as a 103 after i adding an you uh, employee 3 object to the hash map now i am changing the state of this uh, employee id that is the key value i am going to change now let us see what happens system dot out dot print ln hash map sorry emp emp hash map dot emp three now let us see what happens here now whenever i run this program you will see it comes as a null this is because as you we are providing the key based on the employee object in the employee class we override the functionality for the equals method based on the employee id so whenever you are providing in a class object or object as an key to the hash map you need to make sure that whichever the whichever the property you consider as a key you should not provide the setter methods for that okay so if you provide the setter methods what happens is even though after you add a particular object as a key then some other process or the some other 
uh, program can change the value of the key. Hence, it always recommended that whenever you define any user defined object as a key, you should not provide the setter methods for that particular property or the properties. So, these are the consideration you need to be taken care while you are giving user defined object as a key in the hash map. Hope you clear with the concept. If you have any questions, please comment on my YouTube video. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more technical videos. Have a nice day.